Sent to us by a viewer showing all of the fireworks going off last night. Most of the show coming from the illegal kind. Yeah, despite all the talk of a crackdown, almost 25,000 complaints came in last night because of illegal fireworks and all that noise made for anxious times for pets. Yeah, some simply ran off from their homes to escape the noise. News 3's Denise Rosh live for us at the Animal Foundation with some of those scared pets now waiting to be reunited with their families. Yeah, and Marie, since yesterday, about 70 lost pets have come into the shelter and we're told animal control has more on the way. Just take a look at this handsome boy right here. You know someone is missing him. He's even had a recent haircut. And here's the most important message. If your pet got out, get down here quickly or they could be adopted out. He almost seems trained. Like every time I say no, he stops. Every time I say sit, he sits. Amanda Good says she wishes she could keep him. He's a really good dog. The sandy haired pup she found running loose near Las Vegas Boulevard and Lamb during the height of last night's fireworks. Trouble is, Amanda already has three dogs of her own. So she's here at the Animal Foundation in hopes the dog's family will come for him. He was running down the street. He came hiding under the cars and he would almost. Um, it wouldn't, he wouldn't cry every time a firework went off, but he'd go further and further every time a firework went off. And this little dog will have plenty of company in the shelter. The lost animal kennels are nearly full. This female husky, male pit bull, and female German shepherd, just some of the dogs brought in on the fourth. Look at those eyes, you're just gorgeous. Kelly Leahy with the Animal Foundation. We are waiving the reclaim fees now through July 10th, so there is no cost to come and reclaim your pet. You just have to provide proof of ownership. So a photo of your pet, veterinary records, copies of your rabies vaccination, and proof of citizenship is not required. Leahy says it's expected intake numbers will swell over the next few days as more lost animals are rounded up. Last year, for instance, a whopping 530 pets ended up here after the fourth, and only 20% of those were reunited with their owners. The rest, depending on behavior, were put up for adoption. Dogs will be held for 72 hours. The best thing you can do is to come down and look, look for yourself as soon as possible. You can also look on our website. Those pages are updated hourly. And most cats, she says, are not put on a legal hold. They're processed and offered for adoption as quickly as possible. An annual problem around the 4th of July when a celebration for some causes fear for others. And of course, if your pet is microchipped, you stand a much better chance of being re reunited. It only costs $20 to get them chipped here at the clinic at the Animal Foundation. And again, many of those lost pets, you can take a look at them online before you even come down here. We've set up a link, just go to news3lv.com. Reporting live, I'm Denise Rosh for News 3. Let's go back to you in the studio. All right, Denise, we hope they all get back yeah. where they belong. Thank you. And you add in the heat out there.